You said that every artist has an idea or two in their lifetime. What is your idea or two? I don't know what it is, but I, I certainly find myself attracted to and attracted to and keep coming back to this relationship between art and ethics. Um, before, before the Enlightenment, there was this idea that knowledge was holistic, that there was a big knowledge, that science, theology, philosophy, ethics will all be part of it. This thing happened in the last 200 years, which is sort of the modern project, this separation between the aesthetics and ethics. So a distinguishing characteristic of art is that it's disinterested. This is sort of the Kantian requirement for art. Art be disinterested, it has no interest. Art without interest leads to all the ridiculous work that we see all the time. Art has no purpose, and artists have no purpose. Unlike, say, in the 1600s, what artists have a more clearer purpose. So, if I have a project, which is not the same thing as an idea, if I had a project is to redraw this relationship between ethics and aesthetics so they become one and the same. So, to have an ethical preoccupation is to have an aesthetic one, and vice versa such that art can have a purpose, be interested. Art is only important to me when it is coming from life and going back to life.